Hi, this is Carl and Phyllis from Phillips and Garcia. We're back on the video talking about dog bite law. We know that this issue is all over the news lately, especially in the city of New Bedford, because there's been a number of pit bull attacks and there's talk of a citywide ordinance against pit bulls. So I want to talk to you about the one bite rule. Does the one bite rule apply in Massachusetts? Now the one bite rule is, says, listen, if my dog bites for the first time, I don't know my dog is vicious, so I'm not responsible. Well, let me tell you, that rule does not apply in Massachusetts. There's no one bite rule in Massachusetts. The dog owner is responsible for the first bite, the second bite, the third bite, and the fourth bite. If your dog bites, you can't put up a fight. That's my little Johnny Carpetism I put together. So remember that. If the dog bites, you can't put up a fight as the owner of the dog. Now the second issue people ask about, what about a leash law? If my dog's on a leash and it bites somebody, you're still responsible. A leash is not going to get you off the hook legally. It's still your dog and you're responsible for the dog. Now there are some common safety tips that you should know. Um, about dogs to protect, especially children. Did you know that children five to nine are most commonly bit by dogs? And they're bit mostly in the facial areas and the hands because they approach dogs unsuspectingly because children are so innocent and they stick their face in the dog when the dog's eating or when the dog's angry and they get bit in the face, causing serious injuries, oftentimes multiple multiple uh, surgeries, plastic surgeries on their face or on their hands. So there's a number of, uh, and I have listed them here, a number of things you can do. You can teach children basic safety around dogs and you can review that regularly with them. Uh, do not approach an unfamiliar dog. Do not run from a dog or scream. Remain motionless. Be still like a tree when approached by an unfamiliar dog. If knocked over by a dog, roll, roll into a ball and lie still. Do not play with a dog unless supervised by an adult. Immediately report stray dogs or dogs displaying unusual behavior to an adult. Avoid direct eye contact with a dog. Don't disturb a dog who is sleeping, eating, or caring for puppies. I think that one's pretty obvious. And don't pet a dog without first letting it see and smell you. Now these are some tips um, that we found online. I hope they're helpful for you. If you want more information about dog bites and dog bite law and your responsibility as owners, or if you've been bitten by a dog and you need to know um, whether you can get uh, compensation for that. And if you need an attorney, go to our website, www.phillipsgarcia.com. Thanks for listening today.